This is a follow-up to the Maya smoothing and UV problem. Several people have asked me how to fix the same problem in 3D Studio Max. So let's take a look at what we have. Um, I have a just really a basic cylinder that I've added some edge loops on and my ultimate goal is to be able to smooth this out um, here a little bit. You can also see that I've already added a, a little bit of a texture on here just so we could see what's going on. Um, and where we really want to pay attention is this seam right here, as we're going to see a lot of the problems there. So let's just take a look. Um, fairly standard uh, unwrapping of this object. Um, you know, pretty easy to do, so I've already done that. I'm just going to close this. What I um, will typically do is just sort of collapse this uh, into its own edible um, poly so that those UVs are burned into that. But again, remember, this is the seam that we're keeping an eye on. So let's go ahead and add on a Turbo Smooth. And you can see immediately the problem that is created, this distortion of the UVs. And that shows up in the render um, as well. Now, let's, uh, let's see. Hey, let's just double check to see if it, it happens in Mesh Smooth as well. So we'll just hide Turbo Smooth and open up um, mesh smooth and you see yeah it, it creates the same problem um, in that area now the easy um, fix within mesh smooth is to go down here into the subdivision method and to you know either click over into classic um, I believe quad output still does the same thing so you can just go over into classic um, into there and you know you still get your smoothing um, and uh, just without the, you know, the, that torquing of the, the UVs there, so classic. Now for Turbo Smooth, there is um, really no way to, to change um, the type of those things. A lot of people have like, oh, you know, what if you, you know, switch it over? These are just display issues. Um, and, you know, you can separate by materials, but, you know, that literally does not fix the problem that we're talking about here. Um, so Turbo Smooth is not the option. Now another thing that we could do, let's go ahead and um, delete these guys, is that if you wanted at render time um, to try to do it with the subdivision, um, you could try um, that way um, and you know to do this. Um, I am not 100% sure whether that will render. Let's just go ahead and check. You see that one is okay, but it doesn't look like it's smoothing super, super well. Um, we're gonna go ahead and turn on that NURBS. Yeah, see that, as soon as you do the NURBS, um, it's gonna mess that up. So your safest method, your safest method to do this um, is to use the mesh smooth um, and making sure that you turn on uh, that classic um, version um, there. So. Uh, yeah, that's gonna you know still give you some some nice roundedness um, and still keep your your UV problem. I hope that helps.